Hello guys, welcome back to my channel again. Today I would like to share with you a very interesting plugin to enhance your color grading speed. The plugin is called Cinema Grade. First of all, let's check out the pricing of the plugin. There are two packages to choose, the Standard and the Pro. For the Standard package, you will lose some of the features such as Guided Workflow, Shorts Matching with Groups, ACS Color Science, x Chart Support. So the Standard package will cost you 99 USD, while the Pro package will cost 149 USD. Let's go through all the buttons and interface. On the top bar, there are some adjustments. To use this adjustment is very simple. You just need to click and place a point and drag up and drag down to adjust the adjustment. So there are highlight midtone shadow and exposure at the first button. The second button is the contrast and pivot adjustment and white balance. This is the saturation and the vector setting. At the middle part, there is a basic correction which you do all the color corrections and short matching. Later, I will show you what is this. And the final grading. And there is a zoom button, before and after button, and apply button. So on your left hand side, there is a base LUT selection. So if you have a base LUT, you can apply here. And there is a camera profile. And there is also a color chart if you bought the pro versions. So on your right hand side, there is all the basic adjustment. You can pin it so it won't hide when you click. And the bottom section is all your short selections. When you first open up the software, you can go to view and open up the video scope. This is very important when you color corrections your footage. For the view section, you can also enable the false color if you need it. So let's turn it off. Okay, let's start color corrections. I normally don't use the top bar because I'm more comfortable using all the slider at the side. Okay, let's revert all the setting and we will color correct based on the scope. First of all, just bring up the contrast a little bit. Bring down the pivot, lower the midtones. Besides, you can click to change the waveform. So we can pull up the highlight. As you can see, it is very easy to color correct. You can compare between before and after. With a simple adjustment, you can see there's a big difference. For the vector sections, it's very useful when you want to color grade. You can see you can adjust the hue of the sky and the luma and the brightness of the sky. So it is very useful a very simple way to color grade with vectors. For the short matching, you can group all the footage with same scenes together with the color mark. Then you can copy the adjustments from the hero shot and paste it to the rest of the footage with same color mark. Therefore, you don't have to color adjustment all the same footage one by one. After apply the same adjustment from the hero shot, you can go back to the basic correction section to do a minor adjustment for all the footage. So for the final grading section, you can actually apply your loops, LUTs and loop transfer inside your clips. Besides, you can apply your own LUTs into your library. To do that, you can go to the Cinema Grade, LUTs, Review in Finder, and here is your LUTs library. So go back to Cinema Grade. So I can apply any LUTs. Please take note that 
If you apply your LUTs to one of the footage with same color mark, for example, I apply the LUTs to this footage with the green color mark, it will affect and paste the LUTs directly to the rest of the footage with the same color mark. When you apply your LUTs, you can also adjust the opacity of the LUTs. Besides, any adjustment made in final grading sections will affect the other footage with the same color mark. Therefore, any individual adjustment is recommended to make at the basic correction or short matching section. So after all the color grading process is done, you just press apply and apply all grades. After that, all the grading will be applied. If you would like to compare Cinema Grade to Final Cut Pro X tools, they actually can perform the same function. The reason I choose Cinema Grade is because it can speed up my color grading process and it is more easy to use compared to Final Cut Pro X too. There are more advanced tools in Final Cut Pro X such as curve adjustment which Cinema Grade do not have. Moreover, the short matching in Cinema Grid is really benefit for me to do a batch color correction. Finally, I feel this plugin is really helped in my editing workflow. If you are interested, I will leave a link for you in the comment section. I hope this video is really helpful for you to overview the plugin and get an idea how the plugin works. Please help me to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon.